This is my first, um, well, documented recording of this program. It's just a, it's not really, but it's trying to mimic an operating system. I guess it could be called one, but whatever. Um, made in Lua, or whatever it's called, L-U-A. It's in computer craft in Minecraft in the Tech It mod and I'll show you it and then I'll go through the coding so at the minute it's just the basic program because I'm editing the program and I don't want to lose the program somehow in the computer but it's called OSB OS as well. It's it's that, but the program to start it is this. It's OSB OS, so it's Ozboss. Ozboss, said that with them. <laughs> so starts here. The, that actually does nothing. It's just a little bar to mimic the loading. Um, you got the OSB Corp Unified Operating System. I took the unified operating system and the main layout at the top from uh, what are they called the computers inside Fallout, and that's what I'm basing the whole computer system around the Fallout computers and their systems and how they work. The only thing that I can't really work out how to do. If someone would give me a hand, then give me a hand. <laughs> um, is to actually make selectable menus so at the minute I just click or I type in a, a number um, I type in one or two if I put in something other than that it, it should give me an error so let's see uh, nope <laughs> as you can see there's, it's not working completely um, it does it does reload the page it's, it should give an error but I guess it skips that bit um, if we go into reactive management, this is just a test. There's no actual working functions to go outside of the computer yet. It's just inside. It's basically for testing um, and building the whole thing to make it work. Then I'll change it for all the different things that they do. And I am actually going to put in a emo system as a um, like a third option that you'll, that you'll see at the maybe a third option or it'll be at the bottom. Uh, the bottom I'm going to add like restart or reboot or shut down you know cause what the usual computer would do um, so let's go into one it comes up with a bunch of things I don't know if I'll leave it with that sort of like um, typewriter sort of effect that it's got there but I'll leave that for the minute so you just click here and it gives a response so you know it works um, it does that for everything. It just says you've selected option two, um, three. So we go back with four. Um, and the two. We've got two bars at the bottom for some reason there. And it's snowing in the game for some reason. <laughs> oh well, let's see. Um, uh, Turn this down a bit. Sounds actually coming out of the speakers. Usually it's coming from my headphones. Um, three. Um, I think that's all that there is to show about the operating system at the minute. Um, you can't escape from this once you've entered, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Let's put the invalid selection worked that time maybe if I do anything other than it will just yeah I have to search for something to make it so that if I don't do one or two it will give me that invalid selection because I think I can remember from the code it was if it if the select uh, if the selected option is nothing so as it is now not not text if it's just nothing then it, sh it comes up with that 
but um, let's move on to the what speaking let's move on to the coding um, let's go out of this let me just get the window up um, I edit it with WordPad and just copy and paste it into Notepad like this. So let's add a region for this. Would that be too small? I think so. Let me just I'll just change this with editing because yay. Um Right, it's not quite square, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll manage. Um, so here's the... If you don't know what these are, these basically are comments. So anything written in the in a line following this will, will do nothing. Um, purely to remember things or note something down for another programmer. Um, this is for myself to mark that I'm... This is where I'm starting the functions. This is the top text, which is the OSB Corp Unified Operating System, which is at the top of every page. Um, you can change what the name of the console is. You can change the sort of the the title, the header, or whatever you like to call it. This function clears the screen and puts the cursor at the first position, so the first line and the first column, um, so that's just basically to condense it down to clear screen rather than these two here, it's those two codes. Uh, this is the boot which you see starting as a boss. This is easier to make it go to the center, I don't know how to wrap it to the center and I can't be bothered. I may, I may do that one day. Um, all this is to put these little loading segments up in a sort of delayed manner to make it look like it's slowing down, speeding up. That's that. This is the main menu which goes after the after the top text. So it makes the answer, which is essential for the selecting menu which I'm using um, makes it nothing so if you go back to the main menu it the answer might already be something so it just resets it every time you bring up the main menu function that's in just the main menu there I think yeah um, so it, it makes the answer nothing clears the screen adds the top text and puts the cursor below the top text and brings in this line it goes to the 17th line which puts this um, sort of brackety thing at the bottom and then it moves it back up to just after the top text to put sort of the body in so all the, the content for the menu which then it does the slow print the, the typewriter sort of thing that you see to bring up the menu options so there's the reactor management and vault utilities and the select option then it puts the cursor after select option so just here on the 15th along 15th character along and the 11th line down and that's the end of that 
the this is basically all just the same the clear screen top text and it does all of these um, looks nice like that um, there's why we've got double everything I'll change that I won't bother now and it's the same with the utilities you can add different um, selections or options depending on um, what you want it to do do page two instead of going back maybe that could be cool if you got loads of things um, so there's the it marks the end of the functions so now it's the main sort of program it runs the boot which makes the sort of starting osboss mimicking sort of like a operating system loading up um, and this is to sort of loop the program because without it it will go out of the operating system and go into other you can open other programs I don't want that to happen because I want everything to be in I want everything on the computer to be only what I've done um, I don't want you to be able to really play Snake. You could if you wanted, really, but then just go on single player and load it up. But so it loads the main menu. Um, it's asking for an answer. Um, you've seen what the main menu does. It makes the answer nothing. Clears the screen. Puts the text at the top and brings in all the options and moves the cursor to just after uh, select option so then it waits for your answer and what, depending on your answer it goes to these here this is the main menu option one so if you selected option one so if answer equals one then it resets the answer back to nothing again when it's in inside this if statement and goes starts the reactive menu asks for your answer again just as here with the main menu and then there's a more if statement if you go in one then it'll go to this output to that output free out that that there, free that output and then four it goes back to the main menu and waits for the answer again um, I had a lot of problems with the answer and the looping of the program because it used to it took me about half an hour to figure it out but because I've, I've never even done this language I just found it in in the tech it I had to research online but it took me about half an hour and I don't know if that's good or not <laughs> I think it's bad but uh, selection 2 I've got these um, comments here to show me what they are and that's the reactor menu this is the utilities menu if answer reset utilities looks for the answer if answer is that, if answer is that and if answer then go back and this is the main menu option empty so if it's empty if answer equals nothing then clear the screen put a top text in write invalid selection and then sleep for half a second or a tick I don't know what the lower code is looking for I think it's seconds but half per dot half per dot half per dot half and then else which is nothing so it ends it ends and goes all the way back up to I've gone too far it goes up to this again it goes to the main menu so I guess that coding on the bottom isn't too good because if I'm in the utilities or the reactor menu and I put no input in then I I would expect it to go back to the main menu which I do not want 
I'll work on that. But that's it at the minute. Plenty of code, but not enough. Yes. I'm going to add an email, like I said earlier. I hope I did. Because if I didn't, then I'm going to sound a nutter. But emails, um, different computers do different things. And unlock computers with passcodes. Maybe um, there's a computer and you can. There's a passcode to get into the main sort of details of the computer, like the files and the logs that you want to view in some story. I don't know, but um, you can unlock it with a file on a floppy disk that you can find somewhere. Maybe I don't know. Sounds promising and good and fun. We'll find out. Um, thanks for watching. I'm going to put another one up when I've developed it much more. It'll look shiny and nice. I'm going to see if I can get colour in as well. I'm not sure if I can. If I can, then that's brilliant. If not, then not to worry. Well, again, thanks for watching. Goodbye.